Students seem to love walled mazes. Just listen to the enthusiasm that the students urge on robot called Vroom Vroom in the very first time they tried to get this robot one circuit around this arena. Well, from that rather unpromising start, students from that class went on to obtain first places in town, state, country and world Robocup events in dance and rescue and a first place citation in competitions with 1600 students from 72 countries at the International Science and Engineering Fair in the United States. From small acorns of enthusiasm, great oak trees and achievements can grow. I used this arena in the early part of 2007 as I went on my volunteer way from school to school, but it had some disadvantages. The first that it was too heavy for the grade 5 students in this class to carry around, and the second is that this was the biggest size we could use because otherwise it wouldn't fit in my car. The Australian Robocup rescue mat was good in that you'd roll it up, it was easy to store and you could move it from school to school. The International Rescue Arena was not much help either. It was huge. This is one we built so the students could practice for the International Robocup Rescue, but none of the schools had space for this and it occupied uh, one of the parents' garages for well over a year. For school use, we needed something portable and stackable. At the end of 2007, we developed this system. It was based on a tile 30 centimetres square, which is the same size as the rooms in the International Rescue Robocup Junior Competition. We initially thought we'd need five types of tiles, but it turned out we only really needed three, and we didn't need the black tipped one, three-sided one at all, and the yellow tipped one is handy to have a couple of times for leading onto an arena and sometimes out of an arena, but mostly we didn't need it. These have the advantages of being able to stack, as you can see from this rather battered seven-year-old stack of maze segments, and they can be put together like this. Now if we have a stock of one tile of type 0, seven tiles of type 1, six tiles of type 2L, we can make nine different mazes and two different arenas. The black squares you can see are forbidden areas in Rescue B. This system will provide some variety but is only useful if the tiles are reasonably easy to make. One of my grade 7 students in the long holidays wanted to look at some tiles and run some mazes. We didn't have enough, so she made some more tiles herself. You can see her doing this in the following video. Note that power tools should only be used under adult supervision.
Okay. To show you a sample run, this is her first run of her first maze solving robot. She's using an ultrasonic sensor pointing forward to detect the wall. She's using a right hand wall following algorithm, using a touch sensor to follow the right wall with a, a wheel on the end of the touch sensor and surprisingly it seems to work. Um, she did much better um, results later on with more improved ones but for a first effort this is it's not bad. If we have a bigger stock of tiles, three tiles of type 0, 12 tiles of type 1, 9 tiles of type 2L and 2 tiles of type 2H we can have even more mazes. You can also use these for races. Start two robots at the dotted green arrows and the winner is the one that catches the other. This is a sample maze of the lower floor from the International Rescue Bee rules. And this is an even bigger maze that has the same number of wall segments for both left and right wall following robots. The International Robocup Junior Rescue A contains both walls and a line and we can get the taste of that with this system. First laminate the paper. Next cut at the positions shown. Find the zero tile. Use the double sided tape to temporarily stick the laminated paper to the zero tile. We can use the same system for the one tile. Cut along the inner line. Use double sided tape and it will fit neatly to the tile with the single side wall. We can do the same with the 2L tile. Cut along these two inner lines. Use double sided tape to temporarily fix the laminated paper to the tile and it will fit nicely just like this. You can find more about mazes including a downloadable handout at my website at the address above. Well, thank you for looking at these tutorials and enjoy your line following robots. Have fun.